Chinese prime ministers seem to resign at a drop of a hat. The last prime minister of Japan, Yoshihide Suga, resigned just one year into the office as his popularity dwindled. Popularity of the leaders is something deep-seated in Japanese politics and culture. Most of the resignations by prime ministers have been due to a dip in popularity. It is almost as if the Japanese vote the fate of their leaders in every other opinion poll. Suga entered Prime Minister's office with a popularity of over 70%, but by the time he exited, his popularity had dwindled to around 30%. Criticism of his handling of the pandemic, Tokyo Olympics, seemed to do him in. Shinzo Abe, his predecessor, who is globally more popular, remained the longest as Prime Minister of Japan for eight years. Abe resigned citing health reasons. Now, Fumio Kishida, yet another unremarkable face from the Japanese politics, replaced Suga. He called for early elections to cash in on the honeymoon period that each leader enjoys when he's new in the office. But even then, Kishida's popularity was even lower than that of Suga at around 40 to 45 percent during the early stage. So why do Japanese Prime Ministers keep resigning? Has the revolving door leadership phase begun once again in Japan? And what lies ahead of Kishida? It seems that resigning one's popularity declines has become the norm among Japanese Prime Ministers since so long that all the new Prime Ministers are expected to do the same. After Abe's stint in bringing political stability and Suga's ooster, there's an apprehension that Japan politics may once again enter the pre-Abe period. However, even though the prime ministers change, the party has remained the same. In all of Japan's democratic years other than six years, the LDP or Liberal Democratic Party has ruled the island nation. As for Kishida, his term in office, long or short, will be determined by how well he does in the polls. The number of seats lost by his party will decide the number of allies he will have to tackle Japan's coronavirus-battered economy and worries over climate change, gender inequity, a fast-aging and dwindling population and China's aggressive moves.